So this here's a 240 service panel. A 50 amp circuit breaker, GFI, and a 240 30 amp um, outlet installed in it. Electric brew kettle control box. It's, uh, it's run by solid state relay. Uh, um, on on off switch for both both legs of the circuit, and then a uh, potentiometer. Here's a solid state relay right here. It's a heat sink. It was a uh, thermal paste glued. I wired up lights, but um, I'm not sure quite how I'm supposed to wire them, so I, I kind of left that alone for right now. Initially, when I wired them up, they were on when the circuit was off, and then when I turned the circuit on, the lights went off. So. Um, and here's the, uh, power cable that goes to the, uh, service panel. And then there's the, uh, the outlet that goes to the brew kettle. So here's my brew kettle. And this is just a regular old, uh, dryer cable. Uh, and it's it's wired it directly into a um, a heater heat element inside here water heater element uh, and you can see it's grounded right there <clears throat> and there's a heater element it's a 240 volt 30 amp heater element um, now this is my keg that I use with my propane setup and all I did was I just replaced the uh, the valve with uh, the heater element. I had to drill the hole slightly larger. And that's it. So I've just turned the uh, heater element on uh, full power and you can already see this is like almost immediately it starts to uh, boil water uh, at the element itself. It'll take it'll take a while for the, the whole pot to come to a full boil but it's immediately hot uh, which is pretty cool.